Hi, this is Morgan, and welcome again to Sky Factory 2. Um, as you can see behind me, I've gathered quite a few resources, and I'll go into those rubber trees in just a second. Let me get out of F5 mode, and let's talk for a second. So, um, as I've been killing mobs, and let's turn on F3, and maybe we'll go kill one real quick. Um, I noticed something very interesting. Uh, the loot bags are fantastic, except in a specific case. So let's uh, kill this guy, and this guy, and let's go back and talk about loot bags, because they're very, very fun. Um, and I got a new one, great. So that, that's perf that perfectly ties into what I want to talk about. So let's reorder these. Let's look at a couple things real quick. So first of all, I made a stone rapier. And I thought, you know what? Uh, these uh, ignore armor. So this would be a great thing to do. And if you will look. Let me see here. Um, it does two attack damage. That is not good. My axe does five. So the other problem with this guy is uh, as I've been using it it got the fiery aspect and the problem with that is I can't use it on endermen because they'll fly away and and that's not good so uh, this guy right here is bound for the toss away bye bye and we'll just continue to use our hatchet as our main uh, attack weapon. It's got auto repair on it anyway, so it's probably a good one to use. So let's talk about loot bags and what you should not do. Um, and this will also probably segue into why I should record more when I'm doing dangerous things. So um, I opened an, a loot bag. I got very excited and I thought, you know what? I got a rubber tree, that's great. I'm gonna plant this guy. And you can see it right here, right next to this cursor. And I planted it, and I bone mealed it. Unfortunately, it's a mega rubber sapling. Now, in other versions I've played of, uh, you know, sky, kind of, sky, sky games, you know, like, I can't even think of them, but, um, <laughs> these guys were nerfed, and they would just turn into regular, rubber sapling. So I actually wasn't expecting uh, this to turn into a tree that was about 200 blocks tall. And so my little flint axe here was only able to take out a little bit. So I uh, made some ladders, climbed up, got to the top, started knocking down wood, started knocking down leaves. And the funny thing was I think it was, I can't remember exactly who it was, but it might have been, might have been Direwolf. It might have been Sevidus. I don't know. One of those guys used a bow and arrow, shot me off, and I landed down here, and I lost everything I had on me. It scattered all over the edge, and I, I lost quite a bit of things. So, it took me about two hours to clean up all the mess. And once I was done, I decided, you know what, next time I do this, number one, I'm not going to plant these guys. <laughs> not until I'm ready anyway with a you know more significant uh, cutting tool than a, a flint hatchet. Um, but I'm also going to open loot bags on, on camera so that you guys can see what I get. So as you can see, we got quite a few. So let's, uh, let's actually get all these back into our inventory we'll just see what we get and maybe we'll get something cool maybe we won't so a couple common ones Ooh, electrical steel and some wheat that's good um, some junk a heart and some dark boots that's kind of neat I'm not exactly sure what that does I'll have to look that up Let's see, there's rare, epic, rare, uncommon. Let's go to the uncommon ones next. It does not want to go there. 
So let's look at this guy. Maybe some vibrant ally. That's kind of nice. Some more dark boots. A record. Some iron boots and an iron sword. So let's start putting some of this junk away. We'll have to look at all this stuff later. Let's look at our next uncommon loot bag. Ooh, ender lily seeds. That'll be nice. I can actually start growing some ender lilies. And I'll get some ender seeds. I do have in here two ender pearls. Um, so that'll be nice. Um, I can actually use those to create vacuum hoppers, which will help out uh, when I want to automate my sifting process. So um, I think I also need some blaze powder, so I'll get started on some dust creation. I think that's where you get blaze powder. All right, let's continue on with our next loot bag. Har horse armor. Fantastic. That will come in very handy. Uh, maybe not. So let's get some of these rare ones on our hot bar and start with this one. Oh great, mega rubber saplings. Those are destined for a chest and I will not use those. The next rare loot bag contains some more armor and a staff of traveling. So we could use that if we had some travel anchors. Right now we don't have anything like that, so I'm not too worried about it. Next one has actually quite a bit. It's got some nice stuff in here. Another mega rubber sapling, a compass, some armor, some gold, and some redstone. So let's put all that stuff away. I think that was it. Next one has Another staff of traveling, some more alloy, iron leggings, and some more goggles. Let's put those away. And the next one has some lapis, more armor, and great mega saplings. <laughs> I will not be planting those anytime soon. Now we do have three epic, epic bags. Our first one contains Diamond, horse armor, some more junk we can't use. At least not yet. I got a saddle somewhere in there. That's fine. Um, this next one has some Certus, another staff, and a nice book. So that's, you know, we'll get some fishing up. I think we'll probably put that on a fishing pole. Oops, did not want to do that. And let's check out our last one. Ooh, now this is scary. <laughs> a division sigil. So <laughs> we're going to be careful about that. We do have a yellow snowflake head. Ooh, sacred. We do not want to plant this. This, this is um, probably 10 times bigger than the other rubber sapling. So. <laughs> That is also destined for the do not use chest just yet. Um, eventually we will use this division division sigil. We'll want to use that so we can uh, get some unstable ingots and, and some tainted, I think it's tainted soil. It's one of those weird soils where mobs spawn quite, uh, quite uh, frequently and, and we may even replace it over there. Um, we're probably quite a ways away from needing this though. And we'll need some animals before we can even use it and some other stuff. So enchanting table, things like that. So as you can see, we've got quite a bit of stuff. Not all of it very useful, but there, there are some useful things in here. Um, we did, you know, probably got some armor. We got some steel, a little bit of gold, which will be nice. Um, some more Certus Quartz. Another miniature red heart, which we can eventually use once we get enough diamonds. Um, I, I think I'll steal the food and the junk. Um, we got some armor. I will probably melt this down once we get our Tinker's Construct uh, smeltery going. Uh, same with these tools. I, I know we can smelt. I'm pretty sure we can smelt uh, undamaged items um, to, to get their component parts back. So... For example, with an iron sword, we can get a couple ingots of iron back. So um, I've seen these 
used before. I, I, I don't know that they're going to be terribly useful with this mod pack, but we'll just have to see. Um, these will be useful. Um, Uh-oh, my computer is thinking. There we go. These will not be useful for quite some time, nor will these. Um, well, at any rate, um, I, I did get quite a few resources. Um, one other neat thing I noticed, let me see if I got a hammer on me. I don't. Let's make a quick hammer. I didn't realize I don't need that much. Um, <laughs> I don't need that much cobble, but um, one thing I noticed, and it's kind of nice, I didn't realize Vein Miner worked with uh, hammers. Um, I'd been breaking, um, you know, cobble this way to get, um, you know, or cobble or sand or gravel or whatever. I've been breaking it this way. And you can see that took quite a while. However, what I noticed was, and hey, let's go to this one. I'll just do it for fun here. And if we use our hammer on this with vein miner, it all turns into gravel, which is great. So um, that that does absolutely help out with um, getting some of the resources, um, you know, like sand and dust. I was able to build a little eight by eight, you know, I think it's 60, that's a stack, right? So maybe it was four by whatever, but I was able to, to kind of build up a little thing and then use my um, hammer on it um, to, to get some extra resources. And I'll show you real quick what I got. Um, so I did get some of the, the broken ores. I got some of the crushed ores and some certus, some cocoa beans. Uh, we're going to use these ancient spores to build um, a mycelium patch. Um, and which we can then put a bucket of water on to get some witch water. And I believe the witch water will give us um, soul sand. And you can sift soul sand for some, some different resources like quartz and stuff like that. Um, I also did, uh, I got a couple drops from uh, zombies, uh, the, the uh, rare iron drop. And I did get a few um, dusts. So once we get our smeltery up and running, We'll, we'll stick these in there. We, we've got a ways to go. I, I mean, basically, we need to create grout, and grout is with sand, and well, let's just see what grout is. Yeah, so grout is sand and gravel and clay, so we will need, um, probably what we'll do is we'll move one of our barrels of of water over here we'll get a bunch of dust and we'll make a bunch of clay and then we'll be able to continue on with that um, at this point I mean I've got quite a few resources I think I'll steal one of these I think we can make torches with rubber um, among other things yep so that's nice um, so we've got you know quite a bit of uh, rubber that we can use to make torches um, I think eventually, or pretty soon anyway, I'm going to expand up. I know we want to go down too, but I think I'll probably want to go up, um, make some farms, because I do have some some uh, farming seeds, like, you know, I do have some grass, so we can get some animals going. I've got some potatoes, some sugar cane, carrot seeds, um, what else, melon, and pumpkin, and regular seeds. So... You know, I'll probably start some farming on a on an upper level. Um, we do have a, I think, a, a, just a little over a stack of dirt. Um, we've got our infinite water hanging out over there, so we'll be able to use that um, to to irrigate our our dirt. Um, so we'll probably go up first, get some get some areas where we can grow some crops. I'm getting kind of sick of eating apples. Um, and then we'll just kind of go from there. Well, anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, there's there's quite a bit more to this mod than, than than meets the eye, and quite a few new things that I'm still learning, like 
um, with the mega rubber saplings. Oops, wrong one. The mega rubber saplings in the safe word. So unless you really want to break, you know, you know, really cause some trouble, um, I would not plant these quite yet. Um, once I get a, a, you know, maybe a, a manulian or or some other fancy. Um, let me see what it's called. Oh, I can't even see it there. It's let's go to tinkers. It is yeah the lumber axe. I mean th that basically does vein miner for us anyway. Um, but once we get a, a a pretty powerful lumber axe, I think at that point then we can play around maybe with the. Uh, and I did it again. Play around with these uh, bigger trees, but for now, I think I'll just kind of park them up there in that top chest. Um, the cobble generator is working fantastic. Um, I'm able to use um, and my new flint pickaxe because I lost my old one when I fell off uh, the uh, mega rubber sapling. But I've been able to use this pretty pretty quickly to get some uh, some cobble, and I've been able to use uh, just stone hammers to get uh, the gravel I need. I've been sifting gravel, um, and that's that's where I've been getting the majority of my not only my ores but um, also some of the the things like flint to repair my tools. Um, but we're we're getting there. Um, we we probably have. Let me see how many iron we've got. Yeah, it's eight, nine, ten. There's more sets. Other. Well, we, we we've got almost enough iron where we can maybe make a tool forge, which would help us a little bit. But for now, I think we're we're doing and doing enough. Um, so I'll continue my tree farm. Just to get resources, um, it does give me saplings. Does, does give me some food. Um, I'll I'll eventually, like I said, move up a little bit. Um, if I build anything cool, um, or as I collect loot bags, um, anything else uh, where I think it might be dangerous, like going down, um, I'll probably start recording again. But um, until then, I think we'll probably just uh, go back offline, collect a few more resources, and come back when we are ready to do some more fun stuff. Uh, this was a little quicker than my last one, um, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.